This is a double jump, and a double jump is a great game mechanic that makes a lot of great games even more fun. And today, I'm going to show you how you can do the same in Scratch. So now that we're in Scratch, the first thing we need to do is create a ground that we can jump on. So I'm going to hover over this small button and create a new sprite, where I'm going to use the box tool to draw a very nice purple ground. And then I'm going to rename this ground. So in my case, I'm going to use the character that we already have, the scratch cat. And I'm going to head over and in the variable section, we need two variables. So click make a variable. And the first one we need is Y velocity. And this is going to determine how fast our scratch cat falls and how fast he can jump up. And the other one we need is double jump. And this is the variable that's going to tell our cat whether it's okay to jump again. So I'm going to drag these out and I'm going to set double jump to zero and Y velocity to zero. And then I'm going to put this under a when clicked. And then we need a forever and change Y by and then Y velocity. So our Y is always going to be changed by whatever value the Y velocity is. And right now it's zero, so it won't move up or down. So next we're going to have to fix that. So we're going to put set Y velocity to Y velocity minus one. So the longer you're dropping, the faster it's going to get because our Y velocity is going to keep getting bigger and it's going to keep changing Y by our Y velocity. So if we hit play, it's just going to start to fall and we can bring it back up by setting the Y back to zero. So we're probably going to want the ground to stop our fall. So we're going to need an if else, and we're going to drag our code into the else. And then if touching ground, then set Y velocity to zero, and then we'll set the double jump to something and we'll set that later. So now if we hit play, our cat falls and it's stopped by the ground. Now the next thing we need is a way to jump. So we're going to get a when space key pressed then set Y velocity to 10. Now if we hit play, it should jump. But if you notice, it doesn't. Now why is this? Well, this is because in the code we already have in the forever, if we're touching the ground, then we're setting the Y velocity to zero. So it will always stay at zero and forever is a lot stronger than our when space key pressed. So we're going to need another condition. So we're going to get an and we're going to put touching ground as one of the conditions. And we're also going to get a smaller than and put our Y velocity on the left and put smaller than zero. So now it will have a chance to jump. So if I hit play and I hit the space button, it jumps. But the problem now is we can jump as many times as we want. We could even fly away. So we need another condition under the when space key pressed. We're going to get an if else and then we're going to put touching ground. We're going to put the set Y velocity to 10 in the if else and inside the else we're going to put an if statement and then an equals operator and we'll put double jump equals to one and where we had a set double jump we're also going to set it to one now if it's set to one we're going to let it jump again by setting the y velocity to 10 and setting the double jump to zero how this works is if we're touching the ground so the cat is on the ground then we can jump and if it's not touching the ground in the else statement double jump is equal to one then we're going to set the y velocity to 10 which means jump again and set double jump to zero so that it can't jump anymore. And then when we land back on the ground, we'll set the double jump back to one, resetting the jump so it can double jump again. And now if we hit play, we can now double jump. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.